Dinner and dessert, like how are we feeling about that? Favorite book is Dead Man Running by James Patterson. It's like a crazy action live kind of thing. Favorite color for Leo's would have to be probably red, like, like a deep dark red. Confidence when dancing on floor. Um, I like to think about competing floor as, let's see. What do I think about? I just really like dancing. It's so much fun for me. Like, I I love moving and I like getting other people involved into my routine. And like, I kind of, I don't know. It's not that, I, I like good attention and I know I have to earn the attention of others. If, and in the sense that like, if I want attention when I'm competing, I have to do something that wows everybody. And dance is kind of the way that I do that. It makes me feel confident. Floor is the best event, period. Fear of giants on strap. Know that in strap, you can't fly off. I mean, like, you know, for the most part, you're pretty safe. Probably sliced apples. Sliced apples are good. What is it like learning a routine? I find learning a routine a lot of fun. The routine that I have for next year, um, that I'm gonna have for meat season, I got like kind of the base or like the very, you know, the, the, the foundation of the routine. And then the more that I do it, the more there are certain parts where I'm like, you know, I don't really feel comfortable when I'm doing this. Like, I kind of, I have the ability to play around with certain parts and take some, some poses and some dances that maybe I, I don't like as much and switch them out for ones that I do like. So the routine that I have now, it was choreographed by Dominic, but I changed like 90% of it. So I like it. Tips on clear hip, truly from the bottom of my heart, I cannot answer this one for you because I had a lot of free hip problems when I was a kid. That's why I did stall there. <laughs> Least favorite and favorite event. Least favorite bars is very tough for me. It's not that I don't like it. I, I mean, I, I don't like it, but it's not that I don't like it. <laughs> It just takes me a little longer to get my stuff done. <laughs> How many Leos do I think I have? Too many. Probably around 100. <laughs> Funniest Olympic moment. Mm. I don't... <sighs> Funniest moment. I don't know. Everything was pretty serious out there. Meeting new athletes was always fun. I loved that. Favorite gymnast? I know I was on team with them for the Olympics, but Ali and Simone and Maddie and Gabby. I mean, those girls are just crazy good. Like friendships aside, their gymnastics is mind blowing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How many hours do I actually sleep during competition season? I need like seven to eight hours to function properly, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Like this week. That's why I got these little, these adorable little under eye bags. Um, favorite male gymnast? Danelle Leva. Shout out Danelle. I love you. How do you know when it's the right time to quit? When you are at the happiest moment in gymnastics and you can say, I can live my life without it. Um, favorite meet so far, aside from the Olympics, cause that's an answer that is most common, would have to be 
The Japan Junior International Meet was a lot of fun because I got to meet some new athletes and competing in Italy was also really stressful, but、uh, that meet is pretty neat. How's training going? Training is. Am I a good cook? No. Nope. No. I could probably burn water if I tried. How did quarantine affect you? Well, for starters, the Olympics was delayed. So it just changed plans slightly, just a little bit.、Um, but you know, I got a lot of really good stuff out of it. What upgrades am I working on? Well, if I tell you. <laughs> Just kidding. I can't really say too much. Upgrades, bars, we're working on Chapash Half, which those have gotten more consistent. Floor, we're playing around with Pike Double Arabian, so we'll, we'll see where those kind of come along. Vault is your Chinko Double. Beam is kind of. There's not too much new stuff in there. Um. Mostly bars. We're trying to get some fun stuff in there. Hi from Mexico. That's pretty cool. Let's see all the questions over here. I'm scrolling through. Let's see. Let's play around with this one. How tall am I? I am a whopping 5'1. I'm very tall. Huge. I just, my legs, long. Just immaculate height. Crazy. 5'1. Um, look, I got a bug bite on my hand. Can you see that? Ugh. There's two right next to each other. Any tips for back handspring step outs? Big jump. Use your arms. Please. Let's see. What else do we have here? Mm hmm. For funsies, let's do this one. What's it like learning a new routine? A new routine, I kind of touched on this before, but a new routine is fun because it's. Can you see me? You lost me for a second, but I'm back, I swear. Okay, hi, Grace.、Um, but yeah, learning a new routine is a lot of fun because the older that I've gotten, the more creative, say, I get. And what I do in the routine, and what dances in there. Like, even last night, right before I went to sleep, I couldn't sleep too well. And I was like getting ready to go to the bathroom, and I was like, oh, there's a. Okay, let's do this one. Do I choreograph my own routine?、Um, technically, yeah, actually. I have. The second half of my routine, I added music and I cut it myself. Add my own dance to it. <laughs> so, yeah. My favorite pre gym meal would have to be breakfast. Anything breakfast, because it has protein, it's filling. But it's not too heavy. Anything breakfast. Yeah. Favorite type of music to perform to? Let's see. 
Favorite kind of music to perform to would have to be like dance and party music. It's it's the best, especially in an arena. Like the beat will kind of echo off of, depending on how the building is. Like Rio was sort of dome shaped, so my music was really hidden. <laughs> but um, yeah, party music. Do I still talk to my teammates from the Olympics? I do, every so often. Everybody's busy, but... Yeah. Relationship with Morgan. Ah, oh, Morgan's the best. I love her. Any advice I would give to parents of a gymnast? Great question. What happens at practice stays at practice. Ask them how their day went. You don't have to be coach. You're not supposed to be coach. That's why you bring them to practice and give them a coach. You're their safe place when they come home. Not another kind of task. Like at practice, we have tasks and, and things that we have to do during practice. And when we come home, we want to be able to put our guard down and be ourselves. And that's where you come in and you give us all the love in the world. And you tell us that even if we face plant a thousand times that you're proud of us. I ate it at a meet once and my mom said, but at least you landed on your feet. I was supposed to catch the bar. <laughs> but her, she was so naive when it came to gymnastics that it made it so tolerable to have a hard day and come home. How do I cope with bad practice days? Usually I'll cry it out. I'll call my teammate, explain what happened, and then she'll give me a logical response as to how to fix it. <laughs> and then I'll take a really long shower and then go to sleep and wake up the next day and try it again. Lost my free hip handstand during quarantine. Repetition out of repetition out of repetition and it just You have to do it over and over again And the more that you do it the more that you find little things that maybe you couldn't catch before because you hadn't done it enough So you just do it a thousand times and it'll come to you Even if you don't make it or even if it doesn't work out, you're still one step closer to getting it Worst injury I dislocated my knee and I've had a torn ab muscle which really stunk Hard workouts when I'm too tired. You know what? I really respect this question. It's a lot of communication between me and my coaches and letting them know, hey, I'm not really feeling on days like today. <laughs> um, no, today's going to be a good day. But letting them know, hey, I, I'm a little tired. Can we have an easier assignment today? And they, they work really well with me on that, which is helpful because you don't want to burn out, you know? Do my grips bother me? Grips in general, I fumble with them a lot. It's more of like an anxious thing. After every turn, I like unbuckle and rebuckle them, which is the most annoying habit I could have ever put myself in. So try not to do that. But they also make life a lot easier. I use US Glove. The Millennium Ones. It sounds like Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. But the Millennium Ones are really good for athletes like me in a high level and like just, you know, more adult form rather than being a kid or kind of going through puberty. And I'm an adult now. So grips like that uh, can like hold my weight and hold some really heavy skills. They're good. They're durable. All right, we got one more question and then I will be going to practice. <laughs> I'm 20 now. Oh, oh this fell. Okay. Let's 
do that one. That sounds fun. Number one pet peeve for gymnastics. Number one pet peeve for gymnastics would be when people get sassy with you even though you're trying. More so, like, I guess, teammates, like, you know, when you do something, they're like, well, maybe if you tried harder. I'm like, oh, no, I am trying. My teammates, like, I will usually ask for their opinion because I respect it and I want to hear about it. Um, But yeah, just people being kind of snippy and, and rude during practice. It's just not it, you know? Let's see. Another one would have to be when you're really tired and you have to vault. Like, really tired. Genuinely just, you know? And you have to vault. You just gotta push through it, but that's kind of a bit peeve of mine. (laughs) Ah, Favorite Lucifer character would have to be Maze. Mazikeen Smith. I mean, she's just iconic. I love Maze. Love Chloe Decker. Obviously, Mr. Morningstar is crushing it. Love Tom Ellis. Um, Linda, Little Bean. Ella, protect her at all costs. I actually... I made a TikTok going through like all the different outfits that I would wear if I was on the show. And it's going to be posted later tonight. So tune into my TikTok, at Lori Hernandez. I think it's underscore... Maybe you'll catch it. All right, you guys, stay positive, stay safe, and have a good day.